الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله صلى الله تعالى عليك وسلم My dear friends, kids, children, youngsters, youth, I hope you have enjoyed the trip today. And we have discussed a lot of things which we saw, which we observed regarding the space information, how the world came into existen existence according to science, space science. We saw the Big Bang theory we saw, we went around the earth, how life began in water. Then I related everything to Quran and told you that it's the creator who is doing everything for us. We are all the creations and the creator is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We went to see the first exploration of the moon and I told you about the ayat of Quran which clearly indicates that there is possibility of man landing his foot on the moon. I told you about the ayat of Quran which clearly indicates that there is there was a possibility and there is a possibility of man stepping on to some other planets like they are having voyages on moon, on Mars, even to the Venus now and people are, think, are, are thinking and uh, exploring a possibility of landing on other planets and having picnic spots and holiday points at some other planets instead of the earth, beyond the boundaries of the earth. So it is already mentioned in Quran. And I also told you that all these things we should see and see and take it as the ayats of the signs of the Creator, Allah. We cannot see Allah but we see his signs, his ayahs. Ayahs means signs. I will quote a few more ayahs of Quran which tell us about the signs of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran Ipaq, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا بَثَّ فِيهِمَا مِنْ دَابَّةِ وَهُوَ عَلَىٰ جَمْعِهِمْ إِذَا يَشَاءُ قَدِيرٌ اور اس کی نشانیوں میں سے ہے اس کی نشانیوں سے ہے It is from the signs of Allah that Allah has created this all these things آسمان اور زمین کی پیدائش what we just saw in the auditorium creation of the heavens and the earth زمین کو بنایا آسمان کو بنایا اور جو چلنے والے ان میں پھیلائے چلنے والے means the creation the living organisms some of them crawl some of them walk on four legs, some of them walk on two legs, some of them have wings to fly. Everything is mentioned in Quran. It is amazing. We don't have time to read Quran, to recite Quran. We only read Quran when somebody passes away from this world and we have to do some Isal Sawab. That should not be the case. We should explore, we should think about the creation of Allah. We should have that scientific approach while reciting Quran. We should have that research aptitude. You know, we should do some research on it and relate it, what we see in our day-to-day -day life and scientific life and relate it with Quran and enhance our faith. Another ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنَّكَ تَرَ الْأَرْضَ خَاشِيَةً فَإِذَا أَنزَلْنَا عَلَيْهِ الْمَاءَ أَحْتَزَّتْ وَرَبَتْ إِنَّ الَّذِي أَحْيَاهَا لَمُحْيِ الْمَوْتَ إِنَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says اور اس کی نشانیوں سے ہے It is from the signs of Allah کہ تُو زمین کو دیکھے بے قدر پڑی The earth is just lying at our feet Allah has given the earth to walk on Earth is given at our feet Now we just explored in the auditorium that the earth is having so many metals, even gold. 
if you dig the earth you find dust of gold inside and the gold is how precious we find diamonds we find pearls from the oceans we find oil which is black gold this is the oil oil rich countries all the wars in the universe in the in this world as uh, world are uh, taking place because every rich nation wants to take possession of the oil rich fields it's only for oil it's for energy everyone wants energy allah says i am the creator i have laid the earth earth below your feet so you are important not the earth you are the ashraful makhluqat you are the best of the creation laqad khalaqna al insana fi ahsan taqwim right फिर जब हमने उस पर पानी उतारा तरो ताज़ा हुई और बढ़ चली दिन अल्लाह से इस दिस अर्थ वॉज जस्ट लाइंग बेकद्र पड़ी हुई थी अल्लाह ब्रॉड दिस अर्थ टू लाइफ विथ वाटर वेन वाटर कम्स डाउन द लाइफ बिगिनस द लाइफ बिगिनस ऑल ऑफ यू वेन यू गो टू स्कूल और कॉलेज और यूनिवर्सिटी और यू फेस some challenges this in your life challenges what do you feel you feel pressure you feel tension don't you when the exams are going on you feel tense you feel pressure you feel that the pressure is harmful to you yes the pressure is harmful to you but there are two kinds of pressure please pay attention here there are two kinds of pressure one pressure is external pressure the other pressure is internal pressure external pressure breaks you external pressure internal pressure gives you a new life the example you see when the egg is hatched you see an egg have you seen an egg if you put pressure on the egg it cracks the shell cracks and the life is lost it's no more life inside then the egg is crushed cracked but when a chick is growing inside that egg and the chick wants to come out it puts internal pressure to that shell and when it cracks life begins so there are two types of pressures external one and the internal one when somebody is trying to force you from outside you crack under the pressure pressure from peers pressure from parents pressure from society pressure from bad effects bad influences pressure pressure from criminals you crack you crumble under the pressure but the pressure of iman from within you pressure of honesty from within you pressure of tranquility from within yourself pressure of piety from within yourself when it is exerted from inside you no 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 this pressure prevents me from going on the crime criminal line this pressure prevents me from going astray that pressure gives you a new life so pressure should be there but it should be internal pressure what your conscious says not what people say people say a lot of things what you have to take upon from them what you have to avoid it's about yourself what you decide to do so allah says the life on this earth began when i descended some water onto it when the water comes down the life starts beginning it's all green everywhere greenery is a sign of <coughs> life when it is green you say there is life when it is brown you say it is dead you go to some parts of the world where you don't find any green plants there is all desert right like the deserts of the arabs you don't find any greenery there the life doesn't survive there because there is no water but when allah descended water on the earth the life began on the earth and allah subhanahu wa taala says beshak jisne use jilaya zarur murde jilayega if allah is capable all capable almighty of bringing earth to life he is capable of bringing dead people to life again after death we are alive one day we are going to go dead and after that death allah will bring us back to life if allah can bring back to life the dead earth 
Allah can bring us back to life as well. This also clears the concept, concept of life after death. So this also we learn today that Allah is almighty and Allah is all capable. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again says, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلَقَ السَّمَابَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا بَثَّ فِيهِمَا مِنْ دَابَّةِ وَهُوَ عَلَى جَمْعِهِمْ وِذَا يَشَاءُ قَدِيرٌ اور اس کی نشانیوں سے ہے It is from the signs of Allah آسمان اور زمین کی پیدائش The creation of the heavens or the skies The creation of the earth اور جو چلنے والے ان میں پھیلائے The animals which are walking on the earth These are the signs of Allah Who is the creator? Allah I told you that we look at the creation but we should also think about the creator aur wo unke ikattha karne par jab chahe qadir hai allah subhanahu wa taala has spread everything on the earth he has spread the plants he has spread the oceans he has spread the dust he has spread the sand he has spread the minerals he has spread water if he has spread animals he has spread insects he has spread birds he has spread spread stars in the sky everything he has spread Allah says when I am capable of spreading everything I am capable of getting them together one day on the day of judgment if he can do this he can do this as well if he can spread he can get us together again get us back as well if he can give he can take as well so we should believe that whatever we give whatever we take from Allah is going back to Allah. Whatever good deeds we do, it, it go, goes back to Allah. If we do something by, bad, it is recorded in our book of deeds and it will be opened on the day of judgment in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is what we learn today. We learn science. Fine. I don't mind. I am a science teacher myself in India. I teach science in my, to my students in my high school where I teach science, I teach chemistry, I teach biology, I teach physics, I will teach environmental science, everything I teach, plant, plants, animals, everything. But while teaching that, I always quote the ayats of Quran to my students so that they learn the Islamic part of that and enhance their faith. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, another ayat, see, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَن تَقُومَ السَّمَاءُ وَالْأَرْضِ بِأَمْرِهِ ثُمَّ إِذَا دَعَاكُمْ دَعَوَةً مِنَ الْأَرْضِ فَإِذَا أَنْتُمْ تَخْرُجُونَ اور اس کی نشانیوں سے ہے I am talking about science of Allah Whatever we saw here are all the signs of Allah The nishanis of Allah The ayats of Allah وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ کہ اس کے حکم سے آسمان اور زمین قائم ہے As far as Allah wishes All these will be intact The scientists are exploring now That the distance between the earth And the sun is decreasing that is why one of the factors that is global warming is happening here global warming there is different causes for that greenhouse gases effect or the uh, unlimited carbon dioxide being expelled from the machines on pollution on the earth everything is happening here you must be learning all this in your school or colleges but the distance is decreasing the heat is increasing and the heat is increasing on the day of judgment the distance will be minimal the sun will come here just imagine the day how tensionful the day would be how hot the day would be if it goes beyond 20 degrees today here in England you say that is boiling the sun is millions and millions of light years away from us but on that day what will happen just imagine so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uski nishani ho se hai ke uski hukm se asman ho zameen qaim hai phir jab tumhe zameen se ek nida farmaye ga جب تم ہی نکل پڑھو گے on one day on the day of judgment that is the doomsday somebody will call you on behalf of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the angel will call you all of us will have to gather in front of Allah and will have to account for what we did in this world so beware don't do anything bad don't do anything which is not desirable and which is not acceptable in the barga or court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his beloved prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Observe namaz, respect your parents, respect your elders, don't abuse anyone, don't do anything bad, don't go in the bad, bad company. Always be with the pious people so that we become pious. That is the purpose of today's visit, not to see the exploration of the earth and the heaven, not only to see 
the space center or the things within but also to see the ayats of Allah look at everything which is like an ayat of Allah and connect your heart with Allah and his beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam